This is High School Softball. High School Softball is presented by Hatch Motor Company and Snowflake and Sholo. Simply the best in service and sales. On iTalk 1067 and Sholo TV Channel 56. Produced by White Mountain Youth Productions in cooperation with Sholo TV and iTalk 1067 Radio. Also brought to you in part by Northland Pioneer College, Ace Hardware of the White Mountains, Sunrise Park Resort, Honda Outdoor Ski and Sports Store, Beeler Orthodontics, Summit Regional Medical Center, Octopus Car Wash, and Subway. And now, Hatch Motor Company and Snowflake and Jolo presents High School Softball. Got us now. All one. Well, a wonderful good afternoon to you. We join our TV audience, I believe, as uh, Nogales starting this inning off hot. Has gone about uh, six deep in their lineup with runners at second and third and two across already for the Apaches. Looks like the Nogales Apaches getting the Gaylord early in this one. Yeah, they're a little bit of rattle by the Cougars early on. Listen to the outside. Gets them away from the catcher. Another run's going to score. Pitch outside and the ball going to be scored. A wild pitch from Gaylord. As that drop ball fell just a little too far for Brenna Wiesner to corral it in. Goes to the fence and we've got three across. Three nothing Apaches. One away. One out, and we are top of the first here. Shello in all sorts of trouble in this round two of this tournament. Now an inside pitch and a called strike three to get the hitter. Catch up on my score card. Rodriguez goes down swinging for out number two, or without a swing, I should say, for out number two. Left fielder Lucero Mata at the plate, runner on third. That's Alexis Cyril. First pitch misses to the, misses to the outside. We'll let uh, Bill London recap for you what's been going on here in this inning with two gone and three across for the Apaches. Yeah, a little bit of nerves going on for play right now for the Cougars. Arab. Mata tries to put a puck down, throw down, and they picked the runner at third. Great throw by Brenna Wiesner. 
to get the runner at third for the third out. We'll step away. This is Hatch Motor Company's presentation of high school softball on iTalk 106.7 and worldwide on iTalk1067.com. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center is a proud supporter of high school sports. Many of our local sports players were born at the hospital, where Summit Obstetrics offers comfortable individual rooms for mom and baby. In case of a sports injury, the hospital ER is always staffed and prepared to take on the most serious injuries, and Summit features an advanced diagnostics department with state-of-the-art equipment. The Summit Healthcare Orthopedic and Therapy teams can help sports players overcome injuries and return to the game. Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center wishes all players a successful and healthy season this year. She walked and scored. And Serial. A Serial. She got, a, she got a, a two base hit. Double to score. And then she got thrown two. out two to five. Two RBIs for her. Yeah. And then. Uh, Welcome back. And uh, we'll remind our crew in the truck. They've got a. Rodriguez struck out. Give us our cues today since we are running live online. Make sure uh, we know when we're back live. <laughs> So Rodriguez, the uh, strikeout looking and serial back picked at third base to end the inning for the Apaches. We go to inning or uh, bottom of the first. Three across for the Apaches to start things off. And now the Sholo Lady Cougars to the plate. Pitch low and away for the leadoff hitter today for the Cougars, Mackenzie Isaac. Games going on today on a couple of fields here. Sholo's playing. No Gallus and Snowflake facing off against Bradshaw Mountain, both available at italk1067.com. As we get a chopper down first. And an easy out as Isaacs goes down unassisted at first base. For out number one brings up Paige Kerr for the Sholo Cougars. We get a great shot of her coming up here from our Sholo crew here in just a moment as we see the pitcher wine and deal here from no Gallus inside the circle for the Nogales Apaches is Alexis Serial, the senior right-hander. First pitch to Kerr is low for ball one. And this one, a chopper to short. Shortstop charges, fires, and there's two gone. Two up, two down for the Shello Cougars in the first trailing three runs to none. Nice little job that time by the shortstop. Did a great job, bobbled it, but actually quick release. You saw her get down to the first baseman. Nice play for the Apaches. And we're going to see Courtney Gaylord up at the plate here in just a second. Our crew will get a shot of her in just a moment. We get a foul ball off to the right side. And uh, Gaylord. Boy, nice little breeze. Beautiful day, but a little bit breezy down here. About 96 degrees and uh, quite a bit of wind. Wind gusting around 20, 25 miles an hour, and they uh, forecasted for about 40 mile an hour wind. So, and it's really coming from the south to the 40 mile an hour gust. We should say, yeah, northeast. You know, it's from the first base line out to left field basically. Ball two strikes to Gaylord. She chops us this one and it's going to be shallow right field. It's going to fall for a base hit. Texas Leaguer, it's going to be fumbled by the second baseman, or excuse me, the right fielder. Right fielder came on, battled the sun and then didn't get the, the ball up off the turf in time and Gaylord alertly moves up to second base on the play. It'll go down as a double. Coach Nick's giving her instruction. Great job by Gaylord that time. You mentioned it. High pop fly, shallow right field. And really nice awareness by Gaylord. Goes ahead, makes the run on down to second, gets in easily. That first pitch misses high and away to Brianna. Espinosa playing out and right has the not so exciting task of battling the sun in right field today as Wiesner hits a line drive up the middle. Gaylord rounds third. 
She's coming to the plate. The throw is offline, and Gaylord's going to score. Ball gets past the catcher, and that'll move uh, Wiesner up to second. And so Brenna Wiesner drives in the first Cougar run as Courtney Gaylord helps her cause and cuts the deficit to two, a three to one ball game. Looks like a pinch runner too. It's Kate Amator coming in to, to run for uh, Brianna Wiesner. RBI scored to Wiesner and catcher pitcher duo getting the first run of the game for the Sholo Cougars and it looks like they're going to need a few here today against the No Gallus Apaches. Tia Clark at the plate, first baseman for the Cougars. Clark in with a runner at second. She hits a line drive, shot up the middle. They're going to wave Wiesner around. Here comes the throw to the pitcher, the throw, not in time. In under the tag goes Wiesner and Tia Clark drives in a run. Wiesner, you can see the catcher that time, Cyril. I'm sorry, not Cyril, but she thought she had a Mata catcher looking at the up, but the up definitely in safe for the Cougars. Nice job. Cougars answering the call. Two quick runs here in the bottom of the first. Puts the go-ahead run, or excuse me, the tying run at second. Go-ahead comes to the plate in the main name of Megan Reedhead. First pitch to Reedhead downstairs for a ball. Yeah, with no Gallus up, three to two here. We are bottom of the first inning, and a fly ball to shallow left. Left fielder ranges over, makes the play, and the Apaches are out of the inning. No Gallus leads it, three to two. We go to the second next. This is Hatch Motor Company's presentation of high school softball on iTalk 1067 and worldwide on iTalk1067.com. Need a fireplace? Ace has that. Need barbecue grills? Ace has that. Need paint? Ace is the best place for that. Need a chainsaw or weed eater? Ace has that too. Ace can even fix your chainsaw and your weed eater. Ace Hardware has everything you need for your home improvement project. They even have a 24-7 locksmith. Locked out of your home or car? Their mobile unit will come to you. That's your helpful place. Ace Hardware of the White Mountains in Pine Top, Overgard, and Sholo. Welcome back to Rose Mofford. It's Rose Mofford Sports Complex in downtown Phoenix. It is the 2016 State Softball Tournament presented by Hatch Motor Company in Snowflake and Sholo. Simply, they sell for less. Hatch Motor Company. Today's game is brought to you in part by Summit White Mountain Regional Medical Center. Don't forget, they've got the latest in diagnostics, best uh, physicians. They are perfect for your son or daughter to get back into the game at Summit Regional Medical Center. Proud sponsor of this 2016 state softball campaign for the Sholo Cougars and the Snowflake Lobos, both making it down to round two here. We go to the number seven hitter in the lineup for Nogales, and she rips a line drive into left. How about that, Mata? Gets on with a base hit. You know, good job by Mata. First pitch, she tries to turn or lay down a quick bunt. Doesn't do it that time. Just a nice drives the ball between the third and shortstop out into left field. And starts off the inning, the set, top of the second with a single. Brings up Brianna Rodriguez. Right handed hitter shows bunt. Pitch is high. Throw back down to first. Back to the bag in time is Mata. Again, uh, Wiesner behind the plate for the Cougars, fearless with that arm, not afraid to throw it down, quick release. Uh, again, just challenging these runners to step away from the base a little bit. And this one, a chopper down the third baseline, and it is just foul. I thought Reedhead may have touched it before it went foul, but they say no, it's a foul ball. And so the runner at first will return and back to the 
Batter's box comes Rodriguez Mata back at first. Tough play by Reedhead, as you mentioned, playing shallow that time. In, inside down the third baseline, hits it, gets in right in the chest. Exactly what you ask out of your third baseman, who is just fearless down that third baseline. And Carl Nick steps out of the dugout, asks the umpire what the count is. We got a 1 1 count here to Rihanna Rodriguez. And a ball and a strike fouled off for strike two. Rodriguez getting that bat just a little too, left it just a little too far behind her and it goes down the first base line. Not offering much of a target, a small strike zone on Rihanna Rodriguez. Count now one and two. Here in the top of the second, our score three to two. Apache's on top, ball high and a high and nice quick throw down to first, but uh, another throw by Wiesner down to first as Tia Clark's there at the bag and back is in time as Mata. Just keeping Mata close here. Rihanna Rodriguez, 2-2 two -two pitch to her, low and inside for ball three, counts full. Gaylord got in trouble in the first inning, Bill, with a couple of walks. Two unearned runs for the Apaches in that first inning. You know, seeing some errors early, really on both teams. Reedhead. And it'll be a base hit for Rodriguez. One baggers and runners at first and second now. Mata at second. Throw down to third, gets away from the third baseman. And fortunately for the Cholo Cougars, as the left fielder comes charging in, does a great job of keeping the runner at second base. Playing in left today for Sholo is Kerr. And Kerr with Wills gets to the dirt real quick to back up that throw. Missed by the shortstop this time. And at short today for Sholo. Quick it's little bump. Wheeler. That'll move the runners up. Good speed by Espinosa. Oh, she beats it out. Right back to the pitcher and scoots down to first base, moves the runners. Base is loaded now as we go back to the top of the lineup. Sabrina Lorta at the plate. She got on with an error and scored in that first inning. Well, I look down at my score sheet and Espinosa explodes down the line and finds herself with a bunt for a base hit. Base is juice top of the order. 3-2 ball game. Gaylord struggling to find the zone. Serena Lorda takes the first pitch high and away. I think really just being protective of the plate, not wanting to get anything too too fat over the plate. Really trying to see if he can get these, pit, these hitters to, to bite on it. Chopper foul ball and a strike. That started a little late here. We try, we've uh, got two broadcasts going at the same time. Two live video streams for you. Available at italk1067.com. That's I-T-A-L-K-1067.com. And uh, as far as we know, they're both working. We'll try to get confirmation of that. But a grounder right back to Gaylord. She loses the handle on it. Now an overthrow as one run will come in. Now a second run. That is not what the Cougars wanted to do here, as that scores Mata and Rodriguez. And Espinosa will end up at third base on the play. Yeah, you know, just a hit right back to the pitcher. Pitcher bobbles it. And again, nice try by, I think it's the second baseman, tried to make the quick throw down to first. And just a little wild throw there. It's going to advance the runner. Now we've got two scores in, runners on second and third. Timeout on the field as Coach Nix wants to talk it over. We'll get a shot of uh, Coach Nix here in a moment, maybe. So no outs. Number two in the lineup, Jackie Romero, is going to be up to, play, up to the plate. Coach Nix probably just trying to settle his team down. 
you know, you see him doing a great job at the plate. Really just got to settle down out in the field. An unusual amount of errors here early on in this game. No Gallus up 5-2. to two. Shola was going to need to play a well-played game today. So far, they're struggling. Fly ball. And here comes the throw to the plate, the tag, the throw. It's not in time. Wiesner down to third and into third base goes Florida. Nice little throw that time by the uh, left fielder. Espinosa scores. Florida ends up at third base. And Romero goes down F7 on the card for the only out of the inning. Three across so far in the second. And No Gallus leads six to two. You know, you gotta love Lady Softball. Again, just the action, the temp, the pace of this game. A lot of action here early from Rose Mofford Complex. And uh, it's the number eight seed, Cholo Cougars, obviously struggling a little bit here, right here early. The umpires, Great shot that time as their umpires conferring here. We get an out called where? Oh, they call Lorda they out. They call Lorda third base. That's out number two. And they felt like they had the tag. I'm not sure if our camera crew got it or not, but very difficult today in the sun. We'll do our best to get shots to you, but we are working with the skeleton crew on both uh, both of these broadcasts, trying to get as much video up to you as possible up on the mountain with both the Sholo and Snowflake games available at italk1067.com. Two outs now in the inning, but three runs across, and the Apaches lead six to two with Pintos at the plate. Count to her, ball and a strike. Uh, actually, it's a strike, uh, that first pitch to Pintos, called strike. And this one downstairs, ball two. Two balls and a strike. Two balls and a strike to Pintos. 2-1 pitch from Gaylord. High, ball three. Ariana Pintos, number 13, playing at third base today for the Apaches. Nobody on, two outs. 3-1 pitch, chopper to Reedhead at third. She bobbles it, picks it up, can't get the handle on it. And it'll go down, E5, to put Pintos across. Or excuse me, to put Pinto on, I should say. You know, Pinto last at bat, her first at bat, got on with a walk that time with an error. Brings up Vilvaso. Vasa Vilvaso. And the first pitch to her is foul back. Kiana V will call her. Vasa Vilvaso. Vasa Vilvaso. I believe is how you pronounce the name. We've I worked go, on that for about 15 minutes before we went Coach on Coach Kohalva made it sound easy to listen to yeah. him. Yeah, he knows for sure. It says italk1067.com. You can watch today's game at italk1067.com. Six to two. Throw down to first. Back in time is uh, Pintos down there at first base as Keanu digs back in with two balls and a strike. Gaylord going deep into the pitch counts in most of these, and the 2-0 is ripped over the glove of Reedhead. And a base hit for Vilvaso. Or Vasa Vilvaso, I should say. Or is it Vasco? I think it's Vasco. Vasa Vilvasco. Base hit for Vasa Vilvasco, and that brings up Alexis Serial with one out in the inning. Pintos at second. Vasa Vilvasco at first. And the last time Serial got up, she had a two bagger and then was thrown out to end the inning. Back picked at third. Hey. 
Caught trying to stretch the run down to third base. Quick little update, Pace and Empire 0-0, middle of the third. Snowflake up 2-0 against Bradshaw Mountain in the third. So uh, Snowflake Global is getting up to a good start. Pitch upstairs, called strike to Serial. Two balls, two strikes, and I guess we're... And a fly ball to shortstop, and that'll end the inning. We get out of the inning with damage done, though, by No Gallus. They lead it 6-2. to two. We go to the bottom of the second next. This is Hatch Motor Company's presentation of high school softball on iTalk 106.7 and worldwide on iTalk1067.com. Sunrise Park Resort is now open every Friday to Monday through Labor Day weekend. Bring the family for a full day of fun and activities, including scenic lift rides, mountain biking and bike rentals, tube slide, airbag jump, and more. Book your reservation at the Sunrise Hotel with beautiful views of the lake and mountain, or rent a boat at the Sunrise Lake Marina. And make sure you visit our general store for all your camping and fishing needs. For more information, please call 928-735-7669 or visit our website at sunriseskipark.com. Hi folks, Gentry Hatch here. Let's face it, in today's world, there are a lot of tools out there to help you buy a car. An iPhone, Kelly Blue Book, the list goes on and on, dot com. At Hatch Motor Company in Snowflake and Sholo, we know that you can and will find the best deal for you. We will even help you find it if you don't happen to have a smartphone, which I believe everybody does. Remember, no hassle, no pressure, simply the best in service and sales. Hatch Motor Company in Snowflake and in Sholo and online all the time at Hatch Motor Co. And thanks for the heads up, guys. Six to two ball game. No Gallus with the lead over the Solo Cougars. Bottom of the second here, and our apologies. We have uh, uh, technical issues over with our Snowflake broadcast, and as of right now, our Snowflake game not online. Unable to get you live video of the Snowflake game, but we will continue to get uh, updates, let you know how things are going over there, and hopefully we'll get that live stream available for you in a few. Leading off this inning for the Cougars is Lauren Clark. The uh, junior designated player today hitting in the uh, seven spot for Shy Wheeler, who's playing at short. Ground ball too short. Clark's going to have to hustle. A bobble by the shortstop, but she's still able to get Clark out I think that's at Mata. first base. That's Rodriguez with the nice play at short. It was good play. Good arm that time. You see her again, kind of traps the ball, gets it in her chest, but quick release gets it down to the first base. And a pop fly ball in foul territory as uh, Mallory Merrill to the plate now for the Sholo Cougars. One out, nobody on, two across in the first, but Cougars trailing by four here, six to two, and a dribbler back to first. Merrill will be retired, one three. For out number two, Kaylee Hall to the plate next here for the Sholo Cougars. Just a little shot back to the pitcher, Serial that time just with makes a nice little play, helping her own cause for the Apaches. Strike across. Kaylee Hall. First pitch strike to her. Reminder of today's contest brought to you in part by the Ace Hardware of the White Mountains. And a chopper. Picked up by the third baseman. Throws on the run. Bang, bang, play. Kaylee Hall retired for out number three. And that was pretty. Three up, three down in the bottom of the second. No Gallus leads it six to two as we go to the third. This is Hatch Motor Company's presentation of high school softball on iTalk 1067 and worldwide on iTalk1067.com.
Need a fireplace? Ace has that. Need barbecue grills? Ace has that. Need paint? Ace is the best place for that. Need a chainsaw or weed eater? Ace has that too. Ace can even fix your chainsaw and your weed eater. Ace Hardware has everything you need for your home improvement project. They even have a 24-7 locksmith. Locked out of your home or car? Their mobile unit will come to you. That's your helpful place. Ace Hardware, the White Mountains in Pine Top, Overgard, and Sholo. Welcome back to Rose Mofford High School as we get a great shot of Reed Ed. Hey, here we go, Cougars! Standing at third base there for the Sholo Cougars. And to the plate to lead things off for Nogales. In the third, it's Rodriguez. First pitch to Rodriguez outside ball. She struck out looking on a pitch that was fairly inside. Taylor trying to pitch around her and gets it done for out number two back in the first inning. This time catches the outside edge, ball and a strike. Tell you what, we got a great view to sit right behind home play up high. Rodriguez back in, Gaylord gets the sign, the 1-1. One, one. High and tight, ball two. Wind blowing out. Out to left. Gusting at times upwards to 30 miles an hour. And a line drive up the middle. Rodriguez is aboard on a base hit. Brings up Mata, Lucero Mata. Got a base hit, came around to score back in the second inning. A big second. For the Apache. He's a, no Gallus Apaches. No Gallus doing a nice job at the play. Really, you see these girls doing a, really doing a nice job hitting. We, we had talked about that early. There's a bunt and bunt for a base hit. Put it in the perfect spot. They do such a good job disguising their bunts. Bunt. They they. A lot of teams will show that bunt too early. It allows the corners to crash in. In this case, she shows it at the very last minute, lays it down. Nobody has a chance at it, but the pitcher, she's got to come a long way from the circle to get it right down the line, and she gets a one-bagger. Bunt for a base hit for Mata. Now, was she the one that laid down the bunt for a base hit back in the, in the second, or am I mistaken? Are we talking Mata? Yes. She did single, yep. Rodriguez stands at second, Mata at first, and Rihanna Rodriguez to the plate. The center fielder for the Apaches. First pitch to her is a ball. Looking for the 1-0. Tap foul, ball and a strike to Rodriguez. Today's contest brought to you in part by the Ace Hardware of the White Mountains, now with a 24-7 locksmith, locked out of your car, need a key made for your home. Contact the Ace Hardware of the White Mountains, your helpful place with locations in Pine Top, Sholo, and Heber Overgaard. And a line drive towards second. They'll tag the runner and throw to first. They get one, not in time on the throw to first base. May have been a better option to try to turn it the traditional way is it took a little bit for the second baseman that time to make the tag. Is well, Kaylee Hall does a nice job, though, getting one. Now we've got runners on the corners, but. Rodriguez moves up to third. Mata was retired on the card. Unassisted at second base. And Espinosa, nine hitter in the lineup for. The Apaches at the plate, first pitch to her, misses. Wiesner, a couple of pump fakes down there at third. Trying to chase the runner back. That's Rodriguez at third base. I should say Francis Rodriguez at third base and Rihanna Rodriguez at first. And a deep fly ball, left side, left field, and it's gonna bounce over for a double. Already nice got job a double by, by Espinosa. Espinosa showing bunt and then takes a swing on it, knocks it deep into left field. One bounce over the uh, left field line. It's an automatic double. Francis Rodriguez comes in to score on the play, and Rihanna Rodriguez ends up at third base. Top of the order, Serena Lorda. 
Cougars in a big hole here, down seven to two. Early, top of three. Gaylord misses the strike zone badly. Now Wiesner throws one errantly into left, and that'll score a run. As Rihanna Rodriguez, after diving back in to the bag at third, gets up and is able to score on the play as the ball went into left field. And again, every inning, good productivity by this Apache team. As in the Apaches do a nice job. Two more runs here. Espinosa moves up to third on the play. She was stealing. And the play went down to third base from Brianna Wiesner trying to get Brianna Rodriguez sleeping at third base. High fly ball. And that's going to be caught. Tagging at third is Espinosa. She's in to score. So another run across for Nogala. Sack fly for Serena Lorda for out number two. That brings up Jackie Romero, the second baseman. That first pitch, or one and one, the count to Lorta, high and away. Count now two and one. Florida 0 for two today with a fly ball and fly uh, popped up to catch her, uh, flied out to left. She's feeling due. Inside pitch to her misses. Shola with a couple of miscues in this inning. Not going to be real happy with their third inning output here. Defensively, they've just uh, struggled at times. They really have. You know, Nogal is doing a great job really pressing, pushing the Cougars into making plays. And, uh, a few errors, and the Apache's doing a great job taking advantage of aggressive on the bases. One, two pitch, misses. And our onside producer, Olivia Smith, trying to fix the effects mic there. We get a swing and a miss. That's strike three. That's Jackie Romero down, swinging for the third out of the inning. They'll strand one to the uh, Nogales Apaches. They get three across in the third, and they lead it nine to two. This is Hatch Motor Company's presentation of high school softball on iTalk 106.7 and worldwide on iTalk 106.7.com. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace, or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. Hi folks, Gentry Hatch here. Let's face it, in today's world, there are a lot of tools out there to help you buy a car. An iPhone, Kelly Blue Book, the list goes on and on, dot com. At Hatch Motor Company in Snowflake and Sholo, we know that you can and will find the best deal for you. We will even help you find it if you don't happen to have a smartphone, which I believe everybody does. Remember, no hassle, no pressure, simply the best in service and sales. Hatch Motor Company in Snowflake and in Sholo and online all the time at Hatch Motor Co. Welcome back to Rose Mofford Softball Complex here in downtown Phoenix, the home of the 2016 State Softball Tournament. Round two of the tournament, and it is the Sholo Cougars and the Nogales Apaches. As Nogales has made quick work of Sholo in the first three innings, scoring three in each of the first three innings. They lead it. 9-2. to two. Bottom of the third. And the left-hander for the Sholo Cougars, top of the order, Isaacs, will rip a ball into left field. She gets a little bloop single. 
for a base runner here in the third base. Does her job. Comes up Paige Kerr. Bottom three, and then Ogalis Apaches lead it nine to two. Pitch misses Oy. To Paige Kerr, the freshman. And a chopper towards second, running, running down. It's a tag, running right into the second baseman. Was well, Isaac? She fell down somehow. She tripped, and as uh, she was getting up, gets tagged. Nice play and awareness by the second baseman for Nogales. Absolutely. And the quick throw to first base to make the play. Double play for the Nogales second baseman. The change up to Gaylord misses outside. Hung off on that one. Playing in second today is Jackie Romero for. No Gallus and the Snowflake Lobos down seven to two here in this one. And that's a tough score. They were up early in, in the in third. The they were up us. by two. So Bradshaw Mountain coming back to score seven after the third, after Snowflake led two nothing. And now they're down seven to two. Nobody on for Sholo after a terrific double play by the second baseman here from Nogales, Jackie Romero. Pitcher Courtney Gaylord at the plate for the Cougars and three balls and a strike to her. Three one misses and they put Gaylord on. A little respect for Gaylord. Walk. First walk by Sewell. Yeah, I, I, I think a little respect that time for Gaylord, as they did not give her anything close. Well, she doubled in the first, her first at bat. Brings up Wiesner. Wiesner got the two-bagger with the RBI. She pops up this time in foul territory down the first baseline. First baseman comes over for Nogales to make the grab. That's uh, Kiana Vasa Villavasco to make the grab there in foul territory for out number three. Cougar Strand one, they trailed nine to two. We go to the fourth. This is Hatch Motor Company's presentation of high school softball and ITALK 1067 and worldwide on ITALK 1067.com. Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center is a proud supporter of high school sports. Many of our local sports players were born at the hospital where Summit Obstetrics offers comfortable individual rooms for mom and baby. In case of a sports injury, the hospital ER is always staffed and prepared to take on the most serious injuries, and Summit features an advanced diagnostics department with state-of-the-art equipment. The Summit Healthcare Orthopedic and Therapy teams can help sports players overcome injuries and return to the game. Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center wishes all players a successful and healthy season this year. Welcome back to the Rose Mofford Sports Complex. Terrific look there at the Sholo Cougars who trail in this one, nine to two. As uh, Courtney Gaylord, Tia Clark, they're at the circle talking things over. And the Cougars have got a long way to go to get back in this one after giving up three runs in each of the three innings. No Gallus with all kinds of confidence at the plate. Ariana Pintos, our first batter, misses high, ball one. Yeah, her last at bat got on with an error and then walked, scored once in the first. Pintos. Which misses inside. Oh, you had her for an error in the first inning or error in the second? Second. Got on an error, walking an error? Yeah. Okay. I got it right. 
Probably more shocking that I got it right. Well, that's debatable. I wasn't here, so. Yeah, exactly. We can't well, you know what? I, I think she homered. <laughs> Two balls and a strike. Pitch misses inside. Pinto's playing at third for Nogales today. And Nogales enjoying a 9-2 lead here. And a walk served up, second time today that Courtney Gaylord has walked Pinto's. Nogales has had plenty of unearned runs come across. As we get a shot of Tia Clark there at first base with Pinto standing there after the base on balls. And that brings up Kiana V. Strike to her inside. Vasa Vilvasco. Is that right? Punt I think it's, I think Bill, did I say that right? I think it's Vasa Vilvasco. I think it's Vilavasco. Vilavasco. I don't think there's a C. Vilavasco? Vasa Vilavasco? Or Vasa Vilavasco? I, I think it's Vasa Vilavasco. No. And Vasa Vilavasco. this pitch gets away from Wiesner. Wiesner throws it a little left of the shortstop down at second base. And Pinto moves in to take the bag. She now stands at second in scoring position. And as again, Kiana V enjoys a 1-1 count. And again, Nogal is taking advantage of any opportunity to move the advanced runners. Uh, doing a nice job. Good awareness on the bases. Pitch misses outside. <laughs> Two and one. Yeah, you know, the wind is a mess today for a lot of people, but I'll tell you, it's been actually nice for us. I know the players don't want to play in it, but it really cools things down. It helps. This pitch misses outside. Three balls and a strike. Wind really kicking up here, blowing out to center. It's downstairs, and Courtney Gaylord has walked two back to back. As Vaso Vilvasco ends up at first, Pinto sits second, and Serial, Lexus Serial, the senior pitcher. To the plate. She flied out in the second. Had a double in the first. First pitch strike to her. I'll tell you, the one, one complaint I have against the... Uh... Chopper in through the infield. Between third and short. And that's going to bring it, uh, put the bases loaded as Serial gets a base hit. Nice job that time by the Sholo left fielder again, holding the runner. Bases loaded, however, nobody got in to score. Pintos at third, Kiana V at second, and Alexis Serial at first. Rodriguez to the plate, Francis Rodriguez, and that's pacing up three to nothing over Empire in the top of the fifth. Snowflake down seven to two to Bradshaw Mountain in the third and the defending state champs number third uh, number 16 Empire up seven to three over the number one seated Sabola in the Oh Sabola now up eight to seven in the check the inning for you here in just a second. In the third, Francis Rodriguez, ball and two strikes to her. Chopper right back to, and they execute the one, two, three, double play. Courtney Gaylord picks up the chopper, fires to Weezer. They throw to Clark at first, and they get the double play. Nice job by Courtney and Wiesner. That is. A ground ball hits sharply to Reedhead. She throws across the diamond and got her to retire Mata for out number three. We'll step away as the 
No Gallus Apaches. This is the first inning. They don't put a run across. They lead nine to two. We go to the bottom of the fourth next. This is Hatch Motor Company's presentation of high school softball on iTalk 1067 and worldwide on iTalk1067.com. Need a fireplace? Ace has that. Need barbecue grills? Ace has that. Need paint? Ace is the best place for that. Need a chainsaw or weed eater? Ace has that too. Ace can even fix your chainsaw and your weed eater. Ace Hardware has everything you need for your home improvement project. They even have a 24-7 locksmith. Locked out of your home or car, their mobile unit will come to you. That's your helpful place. Ace Hardware of the White Mountains in Pine Top, Overgard, and Sholo. Sunrise Park Resort is now open every Friday to Monday through Labor Day weekend. Bring the family for a full day of fun and activities, including scenic lift rides, mountain biking and bike rentals, tube slide, airbag jump, and more. Book your reservation at the Sunrise Hotel with beautiful views of the lake and mountain, or rent a boat at the Sunrise Lake Marina. And make sure you visit our general store for all your camping and fishing needs. For more information, please call 928-735-7669 or visit our website at sunriseskipark.com. Welcome back to Rose Mofford as the Sholo Lady Cougars fighting for their lives here. Winner moves on, loser goes home. Round two of this 2016 state softball tournament here in Rose Mofford in Phoenix. Nine to two, the Apache, the Apaches of Nogales High School lead the Cougars here in the bottom of the fourth. Tia Clark will lead things off for the Cougars. She got a RBI double back in the first. First pitch to her misses. I think a lot of times pitchers recognize hitters and try to maybe do a little too much with the ball. Well, you see both these pitchers really moving the ball around quite a bit. Time missing inside, and the 2 0 pitch is fouled right side. Quick bat by Tia Clark. Her, that time she fouls it down the first baseline, but uh, good bat speed. You see her bring it around quick. Nice little compact swing. Serial checks the sign, and the 2 1. Low and in the dirt. Ball three. So the circle today for Nogales, Alexis Serial, the senior, right-handed thrower, has been doing a great job. And this one off the end of the bat, and a diving catch in right. Oh, brother, what a play by the right fielder for Nogales. Comes in charging that one and ends up on the grass to make the grab. Paula Espinosa making up for that air back in the first. Espinosa, tough play again. You mentioned it earlier. His son causing some problems out there in right field. Espinosa does a great job, reaches out, and manages to pull it in. Robs Clark of a base hit, and that brings up Megan Reedhead. Foul third baseline for the first offering to her. Megan Reedhead flied out her first at bat, ending the first inning. Yeah, you watch it a lot, Bill, where these pitchers, you can tell when they're comfortable with certain batters. They just have a sense that they know they're going to get this batter or that batter. And then every once in a while when there's a, a hitter that's been getting to them on the day, they try to pitch around them, and a lot of times that gets them into some trouble. There's a chopper to third. Third baseman fires to first. And that is out number two playing third today is Pintos for the... No Gallus Apaches, Ariana Pintos playing about five, six steps in front of the bag. That's an easy play for her. Well, you can really see Lorta, catcher for the for No Gallus, setting up on the outside, trying to get the outside of the plate. Nice job by Reed had to get her bat on it. Still manages to pull it down the third base line. There's up Lauren Clark. Clark uh, ground out victim to short her last at bat. And a chopper down the third baseline foul. Ball and a strike now to Lauren Clark. I'm not sure if we have our Snowflake stream up and running yet or not. Go, Lexus, you got this! 
but uh, we'll check with our crew and see if we can find out for you. And the changeup got Clark way out in front. Boy, nice job that time. Off speed and and really fooled the, the, the batter that time. Great job by Cyril. Cyril. And this time Clark hits the Texas leaguer just over the third baseman. She's got a base hit now. And we'll stand at first. And Shola will bring their flex. They're going to bring their flex player in to, and make a substitution here for Lauren Clark. So Shy Wheeler will come in to run. Hey, you got this. It's your rally right here. I believe is what they're going to do. That's that's what it appears here. Shy Wheeler. So the flex is off. And Wheeler into the seventh spot. Stands at first base. Foul back behind us. A little heat off on that one that time. Merrill. Mallory behind it a little bit. McNeil doesn't manage to get a piece of it. Fouls it back. And a chopper through the infield. Left side of the infield, and that goes between short and third. Nice and bad for McNeil, McNeil that time. Just a quick, turns on it quick and punches that ball down between third and short, drives it out into left field. Merrill. So Merrill at first, and it moves. Wheeler up to second base, and we get a conference by Nogales. Looks like our cameras are blowing in the wind today. Get a gun on cereal, see what she looks like. Speed-wise, we're a long way from the plate, so we'll have to add a few miles per hour to this. But line drive shot right at Rodriguez at shortstop. She makes the grab for out number three. 51 miles an hour on the gun, and that retires the side. Stranding two. Do the Cougars in the fourth. They trail 9-2. We go to the fifth. This is Hatch Motor Company's presentation of high school softball on iTalk 106.7 and worldwide on iTalk1067.com. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom-tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. In today's challenging economy, having a college education is a must. Northland Pioneer College is here to help you prepare for your future. NPC is committed to providing you with the highest quality education with the lowest tuition cost in the state. We offer a variety of advanced learning classes to prepare you for a transfer or associate's degree, personal interest education, or earning your GED. Contact an academic advisor for more information. Online. Any Chopper to third fouled away. Another update from Brian Hayes from around the baseball diamonds here at Rose Mofford. Payson up three to one in the top of the six. Snowflake fighting back versus uh, Bradshaw Mountain. They've tied it in the fifth, 7-7. Seven, seven. It's Ebola, 12-7 over Empire in the top of the fifth. Tory Flake has two home runs for Snowflake with six of their seven runs batted in. How about that? Nice little bit of a production. Sounds like the internet's back up as well. If you're, if you're watching to us online, go back and check it out. We may actually have an audience again, hopefully. Had some problems with the sun here. The heat getting to our equipment, shutting some stuff down, but we're back and running on this broadcast. I'm not sure if we're up in the Snowflake broadcast yet or not. Try to get uh, Isaiah Miller to give us a update on that. Full count now to Rodriguez. Missing inside, it's gonna be a walk. A 
Okay, so the, I guess our snowflake stream, despite our best efforts, is not going to happen today. Rihanna Rodriguez, base on balls. We, a reminder, though, if you want to watch that game, we will try to get it uploaded for you. Hopefully tonight, we'll see if we can't get that one uploaded for you. And you fly that up? Yeah, we'll fly it up. We'll fly it up to the uh, web. How's that sound? Sounds like that one's going to be a fun one to watch. And a pitch outside. As Rodriguez is at first, over at second is Karina Ayala, who came off the bench to hit an RBI double. And Paula Espinosa at the deck. Ball gets away from Wiesner. Runners move up. It's Rodriguez at second. And... third full count now to Rod uh, to Espinosa it's actually Cairo Pacheco oh they brought uh, Cairo Pacheco in okay and she draws a walk so Pacheco that's going to load up the bases again for the Nogales Apaches Ayala at third it's Rodriguez at second and Pacheco at first. And that goes top back to the top of the order. Serena Lorda. Sabrina. And she puts a high fly ball into deep left field. That ball is gone. A three run or a bases loaded grand slam. What a shot by Lorda. Hey, answering the call that time. How about it? Steps up and delivers for Nogales. Brings in another four runs. Three runs plus herself. Well, that's uh, how you draw it up on paper, Bill. That's how you do it in the big leagues. Nice job by Lorta. I'll tell you, Nogales. You know, she had a single, her four other at-bats, she had one single, got on with an error and scored in the first, but grounded out a couple other times, and that time just a shot. Strike to Romero, 19 to two now. Shola's gonna have to make up 17 runs to even stay in this ball game. Or excuse me, no, they need to make up seven. They'll need seven runs coming up here in the bottom of the fifth to stay alive. Otherwise, the 10 run rules in effect. There is a 15 run rule, but I don't know the I don't know the rules on that, so I won't even speak to it. And a line drive shot, base hit, just past Reedhead down the line at third. Jackie Romero that time just turns on it quick and drives it right down the line. No chance that time for the third baseman to make the play. Brings up Ariana Pintos. Pitch upstairs to her. And a fly ball just over third base going to be foul. Reedhead and Kerr giving chase to it. Two outs in this inning. Been a two out rally here for Nogales. Called strike, throw down to first, back in time is Romero. Don't forget, coming up in our post-game comments, we'll announce our Honda Outdoor Ski and Sports Store Player of the Game, brought to you by the Honda Outdoor Ski and Sports Store. Best selection of hunting, hiking, camping, and fishing gear. You'll find it out at the Honda Outdoor Ski and Sports Store. And uh, I don't know, that uh, drive by Serena Lord is either going to be our Honda Outdoor Ski, put her in the running for the Honda Outdoor Ski and Sports Store Player of the Game, or it's going to... Put her in the running for the Beeler Orthodontic straight line drive of the game. 
Brought to you by Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile, love your smile. Beeler Orthodontics. Line drive right to Reed Head. She retires. Pintos. L5 on the card, and that'll end the inning mercifully as No Gallus explodes in the fifth. They lead it 19 to 10, bottom of the fifth. Coming up, this is Hatch Motor Company's presentation of high school softball on ITALK 1067 and worldwide on ITALK1067.com. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. Hi folks, Gentry Hatch here. Let's face it, in today's world, there are a lot of tools out there to help you buy a car. An iPhone, Kelly Blue Book, the list goes on and on, dot com. At Hatch Motor Company in Snowflake and Sholo, we know that you can and will find the best deal for you. We will even help you find it if you don't happen to have a smartphone, which I believe everybody does. Remember, no hassle, no pressure, simply the best in service and sales. Hatch Motor Company in Snowflake and in Sholo and online all the time at Hatch Motor Co. Now we're getting a drink of uh, this hot water down here at Phoenix, Valley of the Sun, Valley of the Heat, the oven. You got to like it. Pressure cooker. Sholo in trouble, down 19 to 2. We go to the bottom of the fifth, and they've got to make up some runs just to stay in this one. Got to bat get back. To under nine, uh, under ten runs, back to nine runs, just to move on to the sixth inning. They need to have get a shot. Seven. They'll need seven to get to ten, right? So they'll need eight. Mackenzie Isaacs up at the plate. Count one and one. Left-handed hitter. Ball and a strike to Isaacs. I want to thank our in-studio producer today. Actually, it's the uh, Superman can. Not sure uh, what the protocol is on our in-studio producer today, but we'll, we'll thank uh, Travis P. back in studio. Great shot looking out at center field from center field. High fly ball to sh uh, short, and Rodriguez retires. Uh, Isaacs for out number one. Executive producers today, Mel West and Jerry Butler. We've got a list of kids somewhere. The technical director is Isaiah Miller. Audio is Colin Elmquist. And our camera operators are James Firm and Shane Bobian. As we run in, uh, running with a skeleton crew, we tried to get two broadcasts today, but we had trouble with our second broadcast over on the Snowflake Bradshaw Mountain game. Ground ball and a flick to first. Home! Oh, I tell you, this uh, Nogales Apache team's a lot of fun to watch. Jackie Romero gloves it and flips it to first for the out to retire Paige Kerr. Nice little big league play that time from the second baseman. Just scoops it with her glove and flips it out of her glove. Gaylord at the plate. This pitch misses to Gaylord just outside. Don't forget, if you're driving home from work today, be sure to stop by Subway. Eat fresh at Subway. You know, Gaylord doubled in the first inning, managed to score. Ground ball up the middle. Gaylord, another base hit. Today's game brought to you in part by Deemer's Glass. Need glass for your home or business? Deemer's Glass in Lakeside, hands down. Best place to call. Quality glass at affordable prices. Deemer's Glass at 188-GLASSMAN. That's 1-888-GLASSMAN. Deemer's Glass. Chopper to third. And a great play. Oh, man. I'll tell you, nothing gets past this Nogales team. Ariana Pintos makes the grab at third and retires. Reno Wiesner, and that will end the ball game as Sholo falls 19 to two today to the Nogales Apaches. We'll step away for two and a half minutes. We'll be back 
with our Sunrise Park Resort post game comments. Right after this, this is Hats Motor Company's presentation of high school softball on italk 1067 and worldwide on italk 1067.com. Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center is a proud supporter of high school sports. Many of our local sports players were born at the hospital, where Summit Obstetrics offers comfortable individual rooms for mom and baby. In case of a sports injury, the hospital ER is always staffed and prepared to take on the most serious injuries, and Summit features an advanced diagnostics department with state-of-the-art equipment. The Summit Healthcare Orthopedic and Therapy teams can help sports players overcome injuries and return to the game. Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center wishes all players a successful and healthy season this year. In today's challenging economy, having a college education is a must. Northland Pioneer College is here to help you prepare for your future. NPC is committed to providing you with the highest quality education with the lowest tuition cost in the state. We offer a variety of advanced learning classes to prepare you for a transfer or associate's degree, personal interest education, or earning your GED. Contact an academic advisor for more information. Go online at npc.edu. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom-tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile. Love your smile. Hi folks, Gentry Hatch here. Let's face it, in today's world, there are a lot of tools out there to help you buy a car. An iPhone, Kelly Blue Book, the list goes on and on, dot com. At Hatch Motor Company in Snowflake and Sholo, we know that you can and will find the best deal for you. We will even help you find it if you don't happen to have a smartphone, which I believe everybody does. Remember, no hassle, no pressure, simply the best in service and sales. Hatch Motor Company in Snowflake and in Sholo and online all the time at Hatch Motor Co. Dot com. Need a fireplace? Ace has that. Need barbecue grills? Ace has that. Need paint? Ace is the best place for that. Need a chainsaw or weed eater? Ace has that too. Ace can even fix your chainsaw and your weed eater. Ace Hardware has everything you need for your home improvement project. They even have a 24-7 locksmith. Locked out of your home or car? Their mobile unit will come to you. That's your helpful place. Ace Hardware of the White Mountains in Pine Top, Overgard, and Sholo. Welcome back to Rose Mofford. A decisive win today for the Nogales Apaches, 19-2, as we go to our Sunrise Park Resort postgame show, brought to you by the Sunrise Park Resort. Coming up, you'll be able to enjoy one of the best zip lines in the state of Arizona at the Sunrise Park Resort. Go to sunriseskipark.com for details. And, you know, Bill, they're uh, doing a great job up there at Sunrise. I don't know if you've taken a look at it recently, but that zip line's looking like a lot of fun. really is. You know what? It, it's uh, not only the longest zip tour, but the longest zip line, single zip line. It's actually a tandem, two people at a time, over 2,300 feet coming into the base here. So, uh... It's going to be interesting. I understand that. I, I think we're outside the weight limit, but dang it. Um, <laughs> I think you can't be over whatever it is. Pretty big numbers. I think if you make the uh, the uh, poles bend between the lines, uh, it's a little, little too heavy. I think our feet would drag. Yeah. We'd, we'd, we'd get cable stretch, I guess. <laughs> and that's probably not something you, you see often with zip lines. But. Well, that's uh, all out at the Sunrise Park Resort. If you're not heavy like me, then you can uh, ride it. He ain't heavy. He's my brother. Yes, he is. Go check it out at the sunriseskipark.com. That's the sunriseskipark.com. If you're from out of town, great summer activities. If you're, uh, if you're from Nogales, uh, really a unique opportunity to get up to the White Mountains, enjoy uh, the tall pines, cool temperatures during the summer. You could stay at the Sunrise Hotel. Uh, terrific food, great atmosphere. They've got uh, scenic lift rides, uh, downhill mountain biking, the zip line. They've got hunting, fishing, camping. Summer, summer tubi, bung bungee, airbag. You can jump off onto an airbag if you're, again, 35 feet high. But just a lot of stuff going on up there. Be sure to check it out. And I know the zip line stuff's starting around the 20th, so it's coming quick. 
Start off the uh, Sunrise Park Resort post game show with this. Brian Hayes reporting that the final score in the Payson Mojave game, Payson three, Mojave one, they will play the winner of the Bradshaw Snowflake game, which is currently tied at seven. So we'll uh, see if we can't get you a chance on that one here in just a moment. But uh, Deemer's Glass, hands down, best place to uh, call for quality glass at affordable prices. Call Deemer's Glass today at 1-888-GLASSMAN. Time now for our Honda Outdoor Ski and Sports Store Player of the Game, brought to you by the Honda Outdoor Ski and Sports Store. Best selection of hunting, hiking, camping, and fishing gear. You'll find it out at the Honda Outdoor Ski and Sports Store. Well, you know, it's tough. Not a good outing for the Sholo Cougars. I'm, you know what? I'm impressed by Gaylor. There, I tell you what, she hung in there. I, this, uh, you have to be impressed by Nogales Apaches. His, his team really got after it. Really challenging the defense of the Cougars. Gaylor did a great job. You know, went the distance. Uh, well, went to the bottom of the fifth, but. Uh, you know, it's hard to stand up there when you're, you're getting pelted like that. She kept throwing it, you know, just got out early. But uh, I'll tell you what, Nogales, hats off to him. You mentioned good coaching, but some great play out there offensively. You know, not only at the plate, but also on the base path, challenging runners, doing a great job. I, I You know, we had a, a grand slam home run. Again, a big shot by Lorda late in the game, last inning of the game clears the bases, but uh, Cyril, Cyril, the uh, senior pitcher, I, I think that has to be our player of the game. You know, not only did she do a pretty good job up on the mound, I think she had a couple of hits against her, uh, I think one walk, but uh, seemed to have good control of the ball, moved the ball around a lot, made it difficult for the Sholo Cougars, and then offensively, not only that, but she goes through for four, a uh, nice little bit of hitting for her own cause, and uh, kind of give hats off to her, so... Alexa Ciro, the senior pitcher for the Nogales Apaches player of the game. Honda Outdoor Ski and Sports Store player of the game, Alexa Ciro. The Honda Outdoor Ski and Sports Store has the best selection of hiking, hunting, fishing, and camping gear. You'll find them out at the Honda Outdoor Ski and Sports Store south of Pine Top on Highway 260 just before you get to the Honda Resort and Casino. Time now for our... Uh, Beeler's Orthodontics straight line drive of the game brought to you by Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile, love your smile. Beeler Orthodontics. And I'll tell you, punt, there were a lot of great hits in this one, but none more exciting than the four run. You keep calling me punt. I'm which is sorry, right. Bill. Sorry. I, I don't do these games punt. with punt for so long that I don't even look up. I think you're punt. Uh, Bill, yeah. A grand slam off the bat of Serena Lorda. You mentioned it. Mentioned it. Lorda not only had the RBI single back in the fifth, but she got the sack fly to score a run in the third, and then she gets the grand slam to score uh, the four runs, uh, part of that uh, big fifth inning to seal the deal against the Cougars. That's our Beeler Orthodontics straight line drive of the game brought to you by Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile, love your smile. Beeler Orthodontics. Don't forget to uh, pick up a Subway on your way home. Subway, eat fresh. We thank all of our sponsors here today. Ace Hardware in Pine Top, Heber and Sholo. The Sunrise Park Resort, North and Pioneer College, Summit Regional Medical Center, Beeler Orthodontics, Steamers Glass, the Indian Pine Restaurant out at Honda, and Octopus Car Wash. And don't forget, Hatch Motor Company and Snowflake and Sholo simply the best in service and sales. Head on out there to uh, Hatch Motor Company. Say hello to Gentry Hatch. Tell him uh, that we sent you. He's got a great deal on a uh, car, either a car, van, or SUV. You're in the market for a pre pre-owned or a new vehicle, you'll get the best deal from Hatch Motor Company and Snowflake and Sholo, simply the best in service and sales. That'll wrap things up for us. We thank our entire crew back in the studio, our executive producers, uh, Mel West, Jerry Butler, Travis P. back in the studio, and I'm not sure if we could say RC back there, but uh, oh yes, we can. We say thank you to our in-studio producer, Royce Kincanna today, and uh, our entire crew also includes our crew over the other other direction with uh, kids from Sholo High School and Punt Cooley and Brian Lang on the call of the game there in Snowflake. We'll upload that Snowflake game for you as soon as we can so you get a chance to watch that later this evening. Till then, for Bill London, I'm Camden Smith. The final score, 19-2. to It is the Apaches of Nogales High School over the Sholo Cougars today. 
Until next time, we say so long, everybody. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN.